Bartending tools, probably one of my favorite topics to discuss. I know a lot of you guys ask me in the comments to give advices on bar tools, bar sets. Sorry for delay. So today, let's do this. So there's a different types of bar sets. If you search online, you probably find right away a cheaper basic option for home. Uh, we're not going to discuss in this video uh, bar sets for home. Uh, we're going to discuss professional bar sets that bartenders use for behind a bar. Uh, I will get more for where you're going to be using it. I will help you to build an uh, almost perfect bar set that you will be able to use in any occasions. As a professional bartender, you should have your own bar set. Even for example, if you work behind the bar full time, of course, your bar most likely have all bar tools needed. But uh, the thing is, there is a lot of time you prefer to use your own, uh, let's say, bar spoon. For example, maybe there's a different type of bar spoon and you prefer to have yours with a heavier bottom like this. Pretty often managers uh, decide to go with the cheaper options for like, let's say, jigger shakers and maybe you prefer to have nicer like uh, Japanese uh, jiggers that you can use for your tricks. And also shakers, let's say, there is a two identical 28 ounces uh, Boston shaker and then you take one cheater shaker and then the other one see if you like put them together they already completely different and somebody maybe prefer this one so that's some of the reasons why you should have your own uh, bar tools when you work uh, behind a bar next reason why you need to have your own uh, bar set is basically when you will be working bartending events yes professional bartenders being asked a lot to work uh, uh, private events maybe as a mixologist or flair bartender sometimes uh, guests uh, directly ask you to work event or maybe through the company if so when you get the gig you should have your own uh, bar tools so when you show up for event there will be uh, very limited or no bar tools at all and clients sure will be expecting you to have all your bar tools uh, ready to mix cocktail so every bartender that work events should have a bar set with decent amount of tools and the last reason why you should have your own bar set is when you will have to go for an interview or audition uh, for example besides being ready to answer all kind of questions and having your CV I would recommend to uh, bring tools because uh, what if you really impress manager and he she will be like hey I really like but like let's try to see how like you work with guests and let can you like step in for a few minutes and work behind the bar and when you step in everything will be like uh, new to you and will be you will be out of your comfort zone and of course it looks good and professional if you like use your own tools and set it up your way so you have your jiggers you have your shaker you have your mixing tool and it will be much much more comfortable for you so that's probably the last reason why you should have your own bar set. I spend a lot of time researching and trying to find a perfect bar set. And guess what? There is no such thing that I would pick up just uh, one set and it would have everything I need. Online you can find some great options and they go from $100 to $500 and more. But uh, I'm sure a majority of my viewers, you guys wouldn't be able to afford a uh, bar set for $500 or more. And in my opinion, if you are a bartender and you're thinking of buying a bar set for the price of $500 and more, it's either you work in, in a super high-end bar or pretty much preparing for like a big competition, big mixology competition final, and you would like to have set of uh, shiny copper tools that you use not for every day and just for like special occasions, maybe like the final or big qualifying. So in that case, I would recommend to have like really expensive tools because don't forget if you uh, use them on a daily basis, uh, bar tools get uh, lost or maybe even get stolen by uh, drunk guests. So it happened before and keep that in mind when you be, will be investing a lot of money into your tools so sometimes you could miss few items but at the same time you definitely don't want to go with a cheap option uh, because support tools is something they use every day 40 hours a week and you constantly use them it, it, should, it should be something that you want to show off to your guest you uh, want to really enjoy using it it's just like a cell phone you don't want to go with a cheap phone you want to have something that you know like you you truly enjoy using it so part tools I'm gonna feature in this episode strictly my choice maybe some of you decide to go still with a cheaper option but I'm sure a lot of you will decide to upgrade I don't think it's leather but it's a water resistant case so let me show you what's inside
So there's uh, 18 items total and I will show to you what's actually really good and what definitely could be replaced. What I like about it that everything's organized, everything's in place and um, you see like for example let's start with the speed opener is really nice uh, like this. This is definitely should stay. It's a good quality. I absolutely love about it. It's a V-Road and if you guys don't know what's the V-Road opener it's basically you don't have to take out pull spots with your hands. All you need to do is just use this part and then uh, place it um, uh, right 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 here in the middle and then open it super super easy but we're not gonna go into what's this for it's just definitely nice quality it feels good in your hands because it, it, it's it's pretty thick so I would totally uh, keep this one we have two push pads which is nice if you work at the event you would need um, more than just two fine strain I tried it before yes that one is really good and then you can see how it goes back to place so this is nice we have a wine opener um, yeah just the standard one there's nothing to change so we have a peeler it's not too heavy but feels like a right size so yeah it works really well okay okay let's see this okay this is like butter super sharp yeah i like it a lot okay this one's very good strainer so i really like you see it's like a perfect spot for it you basically just keep it like this this is not my favorite strainer but uh, it does uh, work pretty well so you could see uh, like this and it's definitely better than uh, for example this trainer so like I would go with this one any any time Julius trainer is nice there is not much you can do maybe if the handle was slightly longer but uh, it, it's pretty good okay we got lime squeezer it's it, it feels pretty good in your hands plus it has that uh, you see like rubber or uh, plasticky thing and it kind of feels good in your hands so yeah squeezer would stay Okay, here we got metal muddler. Ah, good, really good. It's not super heavy, but it feels good in your hands. Okay, tongs feels really good in hands. Plus, it's it's it's, it's really long, so this is a top bar spoon. Okay, so this is probably my least favorite item in this bar set. You can see it's much much smaller than a normal bar spoon. Uh, this the heavy part is, is kind of awkward that it's not just uh, here on the bottom I just don't feel good holding this spoon in my hand these items for sure I chose to replace I recommend to have this type of spoon with the with the heavy bottom but again somebody might prefer to have this kind of spoon with the with the uh, with the bottom like this maybe for all kind of tricks or layered cocktails but this is my personal choice I believe this one is the 30 centimeters so there's a uh, 30 40 and 50 centimeters but uh, I chose this type of spoon just because I need to keep it in this bar set so I should be easily able to close it however 40 centimeters would be even easier for you for tricks and it uh, looks really good in your hands when you actually do the stir so it's it's personal choice but if you would be building bar set like this I went with 30 um, uh, centimeters okay next we have here a plastic jigger it goes for like a um, pretty convenient pour you can do ounce and a half uh, yeah, you can do ounce and a half and three ounces. I am replacing with my favorite uh, Japanese jiggers and actually two jiggers and you can also place them right here actually one next to each other like this so totally works perfectly here you could see a nicely packed uh, shaker and a mixing glass good Boston shaker we have just a regular mixing glass see the thing is I'm actually um, replacing both for the reason again it might be just my opinion but if you guys uh, watching my videos you know that I do a lot of tricks with the uh, metal parts I just I wouldn't risk to use the glass so for that reason I'm replacing with this set I got from cocktail kingdom and I will tell you why so first that one is slightly slightly heavier so if you take this one it's just feel a little bit cheaper in your hands and this one is more like a solid metal so it, it feels heavier and, and it kind of feels good in your hand and the second reason like let's say when you do bar tricks pretty often and when you drop your shaker this part um, comes off pretty quick on this shaker on this one you could see that it's, it's, it's more like solid so this one 
is definitely lasting longer. I'm not sure, maybe something could be changed. I always had problems with uh, losing bottom and basically as soon as it comes off, this uh, shaker is useless. So you could use this as a, a mixing glass and now you don't have it. What I would also recommend, there's two options. You can get mixing glass from uh, this company. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I really like this one. Or there is another option is uh, right here they, they they pretty good so you could see that this one's slightly smaller and i really really like this one it's just um, pretty thick uh, you could see it's a solid glass so they it, would, it wouldn't break easy so basically if you put it like this into the shaker so this is how you can keep it like this one and two so you see it fits perfectly and remember at the beginning I said that I wouldn't keep uh, uh, poor spots here just because you could use more than two you simply can put like one two three four five like up to eight poor spots into uh, this mixing glass it fits here really well and you still can close everything so there's a zipper of course uh, uh, you wouldn't fit other items into this bag but uh, for sure you would need maybe two more Boston shakers and then uh, nice to have on you a cobbler shaker. This bar set didn't have a nice sharp knife which most likely you would have it at your bar but again for event I would recommend to have a bar knife as well. Besides this one there was two other great options one was from Cocktail Kingdom but for the price and amount of tools to me this was the best option so hundred dollars it was not included in delivery and also also, uh, don't forget that I spend extra for shaker, cheetah shaker, spoon, jigger and the mixing glass. So thank you guys for staying until the end. Uh, this is it. I hope this review was helpful and if you liked it, please consider subscribing and I will see you next Tuesday.